What's up, everyone? I'm back with another video, Daily Diary. Um, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so yesterday was Friday, and Fridays are always super busy for us. My husband goes into work late. He usually gets home late, and the kids, and my daughter had piano yesterday, so she got home late, and it threw our normal schedule off, which Fridays are always hard for me anyway. The fact that my husband goes into work an hour late, Throws off. Sorry, you can hear my dog in the background. Um, <clears throat> it throws off the morning routine, my morning routine. <laughs> like, I have a morning routine that I have been trying to stick to Monday through Thursday. But then on Friday, he goes into work late. He leaves, like, 15 minutes before the kids. And I just feel so it throws my whole day off. So, Fridays are always really challenging for me. And I said yesterday that I wanted to go to an NA meeting. I did not make it there. <laughs> my husband and I went to the bar instead, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> it's a learning curve, and I'm finally getting okay. Like, I'm finally getting to the point where I'm not going to be so hard on myself. Like, this is trial and error and trial and error and trial and error, and it's okay to fail. I'm just learning that, that um, failure is all part of the plan, but... It's really hard when you're so hard on yourself. And I feel like I was brought up in a family who, like, failing wasn't an option. And when you did fail or did anything, um, they just shut you out. <laughs> like, failure just wasn't an option. I mean, it's kind of weird because in my family, it's okay if certain people fail, but other people are expected not to. And I feel like I was one the ones that are expected not to and because I failed miserably at life at a young age um it was held against me for a long time I think it's still held against me a little bit but I have been walking with God long enough now that I just am so grateful for how good he is and I was having a really hard time yesterday like I said Fridays are really crazy for me they're difficult that's why I want to try to incorporate this in a meeting on Friday, I feel like it will be, there's an NA meeting literally like five minutes away from my house, seven o'clock on Fridays, and I really want to go to that. I just need to change up my routine, and I feel like if I spend a Friday night at an NA meeting, maybe it would do me some good. It's just getting there that's so difficult. My husband comes home from work. We had a bunch of groceries. I had to hurry up, get the kids ready to go to grandma's. Um, we threw all these groceries in the fridge, and... I thought we were going to get to go to the NA meeting first, which you can judge me if you want to. I'm just trying to be a supportive wife, and I don't want to, like, I can't control my husband, okay? He has to want these things for himself. So, I try to be supportive, but I haven't really, I'm still learning how to set healthy boundaries with everyone in my life. And <clears throat> I used to look at my husband like he was, he was a, an idol. Um, but... I'm starting to get to a healthy point in our marriage now where I don't feel him like that. I understand that God gave him to me for a reason, but for a long time, things were really difficult, and I kept thinking maybe he didn't put us together, which deep down in my heart, I know that isn't true, but it's the devil, man. The devil loves to divide and conquer, so <laughs> I realize that now. Um, divorce is not the option. The Lord has put in my heart endurance. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me go back a few steps. Okay, so we had the NA meeting that we're supposed to go to at 7, which we were going to do that, but we were going to leave there and go right down the street to the bar at 8 o'clock because my husband was feeling lucky and we signed up for the monthly drawing, which was up to $1,000, which would really help us. But I knew we weren't going to win. He kept saying, oh, no, I'm feeling lucky. I think you're going to win. I'm like, we are not going to win any money at the bar. And if for some reason we do, maybe I'll just tie that all back to the church or something. <laughs> like, I feel guilty digging it. I don't know. I'm trying to do what is right. And, but it's it's hard. It's a slippery slope. Um, So we didn't make it to the NA meeting because a friend called us and told us that the drawing started at 7 we thought it started at 8 so we had to hurry up change our clothes and get down there and um I did have a couple drinks and I smoked a lot of cigarettes which I paid for again and it's crazy because my life is coming full circle now I remember years and years ago when I was in like 
active addiction. I don't, I don't want to say that I'm like in active addiction right now because that's not it. It's just when my mind gets the better of me, like when I get into depression or self-pity or bored, when I'm bored and things are at arms within like arms reach of me, that's when I will use them. I don't even like, even if I don't want to, I just do it because it's a habit. I'm trying to rewire my brain and create healthier habits and I'm getting there like I had a self-care today a self-care day today and it was so needed and it was so amazing and now I'm in a great place I feel so much better but we didn't get home from the bar till 2 30 in the morning my husband had to work at six o'clock this morning he's actually crashed out on the couch right now which I mean I'm sure he had a hard day and I did have a couple drinks and smoked a lot of cigarettes, but I, it was miserable. Like, I hated being at the bar. I was so bored. I kept yawning all night. Like, I just need a change. I don't want to be hanging out at the bar anymore. I would rather go to the NA meeting and hang out at the church. <clears throat> so, we started fresh. Today's a new day. I took care of myself today. I took some vitamins. I fasted and prayed a lot. Spent a lot of time with God. And God, he just... Oh, he, like, refreshed my soul today. He just made me feel so much better. And he just keeps telling me that if I can do the right things, if I can start making the right decisions, that doing that, I will be able to pull my husband in the same way. But I have to take the steps first. Um, I used to always depend on my husband. I used to think that I couldn't be anything without him. And now, like, like I said, he was like an idol to me. But now I'm 